the dawn approaches and our work is not successfully completed. A provider and a sustainer have yet to appear. A child of light, a son of light. Thus they gathered together and joined their thoughts in the darkness, in the night. They searched and they sifted. Here they thought and they pondered. Their thoughts came forth bright and clear. They discovered and established that which would become the flesh of humanity. It was from within the places called Split Place, Bitter Water Place, that the yellow ears of ripe maize and the white ears of ripe maize came. That mountain was filled with delicious things. All the small foods and all the great foods were there. The yellow ears of maize and the white ears of maize were then ground fine with nine grindings by the grandmother. Food entered the flesh of our first fathers along with water to give them strength. And so there were four who were made, and mere food was their flesh. They had no mother, they had no father. They were merely brought about by the miraculous power of their creators. Thus their countenance appeared like people. They were able to speak and converse. They were able to look and listen. They were able to walk and hold things with their hands. They were excellent and chosen people. Perfect was their sight, and perfect was their knowledge of everything beneath the sky. If they gazed about them, looking intensely, they beheld that which was in the sky and that which was upon the earth. Instantly, they were able to behold everything. Thus, their knowledge became full. Then the framer and the shaper asked them, What is the nature of your existence? Do you know it? Do you not look and listen? Are not your speech and your walk good? Then they gave thanks to the framer and the shaper. Truly we thank you doubly, triply, that we were created, that we were given our mouths and our faces. We are able to speak and to listen. We are able to ponder and to move about. We know much, for we have learned that which is far and near. We have seen the great and the small, all that exists in the sky and on the earth. But this did not sound good to the framer and the shaper. It is not good what they have said, they that we have framed and shaped. They said, we have learned everything, great and small. It is a mistake that they have become like gods. Thus their knowledge was taken back. Thus they remade the essence of that which they had framed and shaped. Their eyes were merely blurred by heart of sky. They were blinded like breath upon the face of a mirror. They could see only nearby. Things were clear to them only where they were. Then their companions, their wives, also came to be. It was the gods alone who conceived them as well. As if they were in their sleep, they received them. The women were truly beautiful. Thus, when the men were brought to life, their wives truly came to be as well. At once their hearts rejoiced because of their mates. And so they multiplied there in the east. Many people arrived in darkness in the days of their increase, for the sun was yet to be born. 
There was no light in the days of their increase. There was no one to provide for their sustenance. They would merely lift up their faces to the sky, for they did not know where to go. This, therefore, is the dawn, the appearance of the sun, moon, and stars. Greatly they rejoiced, the four of them, when they saw the morning star. It came forth glittering before the face of the sun. Then they unwrapped their copal incense with victory in their hearts. They wept bitterly as they waved their censers burning the sacred copal incense. And when the sun came forth, all the small animals and all the great animals rejoiced. They came up from the rivers and from the canyons. They were there on the mountain peak. As one, they turned their faces toward the coming forth of the sun. The blood letters and the sacrificers were kneeling. They greatly rejoiced, along with all the people of all the tribes. There were countless peoples, but there was just one dawn for all the tribes. The sun was like a person when he revealed himself. His face was hot, so he dried out the face of the earth. Before the sun came up, it was soggy, and muddy. And when the sun had risen just a short distance, his heat was unbearable. Since he revealed himself only when he was born, it is only his reflection that now remains. As they put it in the ancient text, the visible sun is not the real one. <laughs>